Hello, today we are going to implement a decision tree regression or we are going to build a decision tree regressor in Python using a quite simple data set, the one that we used for a few models already. So let's start by importing the libraries. Importing the libraries. Mm, the libraries are uh, import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, and import mat.lib as plt. Is that it? Okay. Then we are going to import our data, s data set. Let's write it as importing the data set. And to do that, we have to create our data set, and that's going to be pandas.readcsv, the name of the data set is position salaries. And we are going to create, we are going, so let me show you the data set once again. I'll show it all, it's a small data set. So we have different positions, we have different levels related to those positions and the salary of those positions. And we want to predict someone uh, the salary of someone with level 6.5. So this is going to be our independent variable and this is going to be our dependent variable. Okay. So let's create x x is going to be our independent variable and that's going to be df.iloc to get by index and it's going to be from 1 to you can say minus 1 or 2 whatever and y is going to be iloc every row but only the last column and we have to do it like this and we can just do it like this because we need an array and not a simple vector. So let's run it. Let's check. You see now we get a, we get an array. Otherwise we would get a vector like this. Okay. Next we can we don't need to do feature scaling for this is a tree regress regressor. Yes, we don't. Then we can already. <coughs> we are not going to split our data because we have a small data set, and we don't need. Yeah, we don't need to do anything else here. I think we can already train our model. So, um, training the decision tree model and to do that we're going to import from sklearn uh, the library tree yep. import um, decision tree isn't it decision tree? decision tree Oh, yeah, decision tree regressor. There is also the classifier, but we are going to use regressor because we have continuous values as our dependent variable. Okay. So let's run it. And let's create our regressor. And that's going to be our decision tree regressor. We can pass some parameters here, like the type of split the criterion, not sure what that is, I don't remember, um, the depth, the minimal samples of split, maybe that's how ma many branches it splits each time. Yeah, we have some other other things, other parameters to, to fill if you want to, but 
our decision tree is going to be a very simple decision tree, so we are not going to deal with any any parameter tuning in this um, exercise, at least. Okay, so we create it, then we can fit it. Regressor.fit, and we are going to fit our whole data set and our our yeah our whole data set. Okay created our model. Now we can predict a value. Predicting a value. And we are going to predict that 6.5 level. And to do so we have to call our regressor and call predict off of it and pass our value in a array format like this. So level 6.5 receives uh, 150,000 uh, of salary. So just to take a look. It, rece it receives the same as level 6. Turns out that the regression decision tree in this case didn't do so well and I think it's mostly because we are only using one one parameter or I mean one feature okay next we can uh, visualize is that how you write it? visualize yes I think so visualize the <coughs> the model on the training set visualizing the visualize the, yeah the model visualizing the model visualizing the model. to do that we are going to plot it by using plt dot <coughs> scatter and passing isn't isn't it built in scatter? I think it is and I think that it has to pass X and Y. Let me just check. Oh it's met probably dot dot PLT, is that it I think? I, I forgot it. Let me check it. It's pyplot, sorry. Pyplot. Like this. Okay. There we go. And we are going to plot also a line which reflects the function. Or not really a function, but the, yeah, the decision tree that we have created. Can can I think of, um, you can think that a decision tree is more like a a bunch of if else's okay so we're going to plot also x and we're going to plot the y is going to be the predicted value so regressor dot predict based on X. Let's add a color here. It's going to be red. Color here is going to be blue. Mm. You can also set the title to be salary versus level decision tree. Guilty dot X label start by y label it's going to be salary plt dot x label it's going to be level okay so this wait a second let me check my cheat sheet I think I did something wrong ba -da -da, ba -da -da.
know that that's actually right we get this this is not right because our decision tree is, was trained on using the whole data set and it's uh, predicting the values based on that exact model like we 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 use the same data set to train the model and to test the model and that means that it is predicting exactly right but it's actually not like this as you can see like level 6.5 would be something like this and would be closer to, to uh, 200,000 as we uh, yeah it would be closer to 200,000 uh, here but as we saw the prediction is actually the same as 6 so this graph uh, does not represent the reality uh, because we use the same model to to, tr to train our model and to test it and it is a decision tree so it created very specific um, very specific branches and turns out that they fit perfectly if you use the the test set as your whole data set which is what we did a little bit confusing but it's something like that uh, therefore we have to to train it using some other uh, intermediate values and to do so we are going to visualize the model visualizing the model correctly can I say that with higher resolution let's call it higher resolution and this is lower resolution and it, it is actually wrong two parentheses anyway so this is wrong and we are going to use a higher resolution to predict the model more to, to show the model more accur accurately to do so we are going to create more samples and those samples will be intermediate values between the values that we already have and we are going to call it x grid and to do so we call np arrange and that's going to range from the minimum value of of x, right? Let me just check it. Yeah, of x. And the maximum value of x. And this step is going to be 0 0.1. So it's going to create um, values from min x, which is 1, I believe, level 1, and max x, which is 10. And it's going to, like, create values in between those using a step of 0 0.1 so it's going to create like 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, blah 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 9.7, 9.8, 9.9 and 10 okay then we are going to, let me just oops. what did I do wrong? oh, maybe you see however we need a shape like this so to get a shape like that we do reshape and the number of rows that we want to have is the many the length of x grid and the number of columns is only one right let's check it okay that's going to be our x grid let's put it all once into one cell
and let's use it. Squid, squid, squid. Better than must be of same size. Oh, no, oh, here we keep with X. Okay. So now we have a more realistic um, prediction. You see that like about 6.5 we get the same value as 6, which is correct based on our prediction here. And we get this weird looking like step graph which we haven't found before or haven't came, come across before but it is more accurate than this one which is not actually good okay is there anything else to it well so we imported our libraries we imported the data set we trained our model we didn't have to do any splitting or any feature selection or any any other thing and we didn't pass any parameters we are not trying to find the best decision tree we just are going we are just showing very simple example of a decision tree we predicted a value we plotted it using um, the normal plot as we did before and we plot it again using a higher resolution which is more accurate uh, for this model, for this situation. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.